Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the GE dishwasher door gasket. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. The main reason you'll be changing out the door gasket is if it's leaking and you're getting water on the floor. In order to change out the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door. In order to make it easier to get to the parts, we're going to pull out the lower dish rack. Now that we have the rack out of the way, we can get down into the bottom of the door right here to take the gasket off. In the center part of the door, there's a small piece of gasket that is not part of the main gasket. You don't have to change yours if it's not torn up, but check it out and if it needs replacing, get one and replace it. To get the gasket out, we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver and get down and kind of pry the gasket out of its groove. Once we have it started, we can just go ahead and pull it all the way out, all the way around the door. Here's the old door gasket next to the new door gasket. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. When you open up the gasket, you'll notice there's a couple big notches cut out. Those are where the corners are. And then there's one small one that's right in the middle of the gasket, and that's where we're going to start putting it in. This notch lines up right with the center of the door latch. So if, in order for the corners to line up, you need to make sure that this is in the middle. Once you have that pushed into place, we'll go ahead and do one side at a time. All you have to do is push this gasket in to put it in place. All right, now we're going to do the other side. All right, once you get to this point, you get to stick your head inside the dishwasher and make sure that this goes up into the groove in the bottom of the door. All right, if you have to, you can pull on this gasket end a little bit so it lines up with the center gasket and then tuck it underneath. All right, now we can do the other side, get it started in the groove. And you want to make sure, if you have to, that you pull on this gasket in so it goes just underneath this other gasket piece that was in the middle. So just pull a little bit to stretch it out, and then we can put it the rest of the way in the groove. All right, now that we have the gasket in at the bottom of the door, we can go around the outer gasket and just press it down to make sure it's all the way in. And then we're done. Now that we have the part installed, we can put the lower dish rack back in, close the door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and give it a whirl. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.